Okay, what we see then is that MN, so 8 to 10 equals 4 to X. We can cross multiply, get 8X equals 40, X equals 5. And that's it. There's a number of other ways you could solve this as well. So here we matched up the yellow sides and then the blue sides. You could also start with the two sides of this first triangle. We get 8 over 4 equals 10 over x. Again, cross multiply, solve for x. You get the same exact thing. We could have rewritten this as 4 over 8 equals x over 10. Or 10 over 8 equals x over 4. In both situations, we still get x equals 5. Let's look at example 2. You're given the figure below. You're told that BD to DA equals BE to EC. So go ahead, figure this one out on your own first, and resume the video when you're ready to see the solution. BD to DA tells me that these two lengths are in the same ratio as BE to EC. Thus I have BD to DA equals 18, okay, so DA is 3, equals 18 to 6. 6 times BD equals 3 times 18, which is going to be 54. BD equals 54 divided by 6, which is 9. That tells me that BD is 9, and the entire length BA is 9 plus 3, which is 12. There are other ways you could have set up this proportion. Mine is just one of many. If your way, as long as you got down to BD equals 9, chances are you did it the right way. Okay, last topic for this section is scaling. To scaling, what you want to make sure of is that we write scales as a ratio. So we still want to have two numbers, two quantities being compared. For example, 1 centimeter to 3 miles. The first number, we try to make it always one. We always want to know what a single unit is to a real life counterpart. You won't always see this to be the case in some scales, but for the purposes of this class, keep your first part of this ratio as a one. Then finally, make sure you include units. This is crucial, especially when you're scaling. And we'll see why in the, this next example. So example three, we have a map, a street map, oh, a street on our map. So we have our wonderful map, and the street on this map is shown to be three inches long. In real life, that street is actually one mile long. So we want to know what the scale of the map is. And then we want to know if the distance between two houses is 7 inches on the map was the actual distance between the houses. Okay, for the scale, we have 3 inches to 1 mile, but we want this first number to be a 1. So what we do is we divide both numbers by 3, we get 1 inch to a third of a mile. And that is our scale. We have a one inch to a one third mile scale. Then, if a, we have a seven inch, we can multiply both numbers by seven. That means the houses are actually seven thirds miles apart. Or we can see that that's two and a third miles.